news. A couple minutes after six. And right now, there is a local abduction investigation underway. The search is on right now for a suspect accused of taking a Woonsocket teenager on her way to class at the high school. Meantime, a school is right now sending out a warning to local parents. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik live with our top local story from the mobile newsroom. Well, Pam and Mark, a very unsettling situation here this morning. The alleged abduction happened yesterday as a young girl was on her way to class at Woonsocket High School. A source with Woonsocket Police confirms a sophomore student was taken from Woonsocket High School yesterday. However, it's still not clear how or who did it. But very much a concern for those like Eleanor Benchita and her daughter Toya, who were outside the school for a parent-teacher conference last night. We found out today in the afternoon the principal told us that um, a girl was abductive and so we we're like, oh, that something's going on. A letter obtained from the superintendent's secretary is calling on staff to be vigilant and students to stay in groups, especially if they're walking home. Benchita says she's glad the school informed her immediately. Very glad. It showed that they were responsible and they care for the children a lot. Yeah. And I appreciate that. According to another letter obtained by Eyewitness News, when Socket Police are also looking for a suspicious male, they say has been driving around the schools trying to encourage students to get in the car with him. They're also telling children to walk in groups to report anything suspicious. Meantime, Toya tells us what she'd do if anyone approached her. Game and run. She catched the bus now. We have um, the bus picking her up and bringing her home now. Back live here this morning, I did speak with Woonsocket Police earlier today. They tell me that they will be keeping watch over Woonsocket High School this morning and other schools in the area as they normally do. I'm Catherine Sotnick reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News. From the